The babies are in my possession on the way home. What's going on, Fish Family? This is Roberta with RLC Aquatics. I hope you all are being positive because being negative is a disease. You know we don't have time to be quarantined. In this video, you're going to see me head over to Aquafunk's house to pick up some albino Corridoras that Rob93 sent me. I'll leave his link in the description below. I'll also leave a link of Aquafunk Aquatics. I'll leave his uh, link in the description below. He does have the unboxing of these fish on his channel, so go ahead and check that out. Awesome video. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the family. Also hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I, whenever I do post new videos. That would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out these fish. Blow! Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. The albino Corydoras in their all-white, shiny glory. They are massive. Way bigger than the Corys that I have. Um, I currently have Corydoras trilneatus, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that, but these are the albino Corys that Rob93 Aquatic sent to me. Um, he sent them to Aquafunk technically for me to go pick up, so if you want to go ahead and check that video out, head over to Aquafunk's channel. Like I said, I'll have his description in the link below and check out the unboxing. Very good video. Did a good job on that video. And these are the albino Corydoras. They will not be in here. Um, I will be separating them from these other Corydoras very shortly. Setting up a tank right now as we speak in the garage. And um, I found that the Corys, they do not spawn or breed well in 10 gallons. I'm sure you, you guys probably already knew that, but I was just doing some experiments on how they reacted in a colony in a 10 gallon tank. And in my opinion, they don't, they don't do well in a 10 gallon so they will be in a 30 gallon for now and i am needing to pick up a couple 40 breeders i want my quarries and 40 breeders from here on out just to get the best spawn rate from them but just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how healthy these fish i mean he definitely took care of these fish I'm sure he kicked them out of the fish room just because they eat so much. Um, too much eating, not enough paying bills. You know what I mean? I, I get it, Rob. I get it. You know? But these things are hogs. Like, this one right here is monstrous. I did... Like, that one right there is pretty big, too. I, I thought whenever I went to Aquafunk's house that one of these were holding eggs, in which she was not. Uh, she's just massive. But my goal is to get these to breed, get these to spawn. Um, hopefully I am successful. I'll keep you guys posted and updated on if I am successful or not in breeding these Corydoras. From what I understand, they're not, it's not a hard species to breed. So wish me luck. But yeah, there's seven of them in here. And they are super active. They eat so much. Great bottom feeders as far as cleaning the tank. I mean, all Corydoras are, but they're way more active than mine. But I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about this. Uh, he didn't have to send these to me. He went ahead and sent them. And I appreciate the blessing, my brother. Thank you for that, man. And um, you will be having fish sent back your way. Um, me and Aquafunk, we went native species collecting in a place called, or at a place called Morris Bridge in, over here in Florida. And we'll have a video of that shortly as well, so stay tuned. But again, if you guys are new to this channel and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I do post new videos. Things are, uh, are coming along very nicely here in the channel. I'm starting to find a balance as far as time management and creating videos while taking care of a of a of a working fish room in my garage and organizing some things just needed to find a routine man and i think i got it so hopefully we stick to this about two videos a week and i'm super excited for what's to come my website's almost completed rlc aquatics.com you can go there right now, but again, it is under construction. Uh, you can still visit it. Um, 
the traffic at the website is I mean just you searching the website helps but yeah these are the the corridors they they're I mean they're doing amazing with my quarries I feel like I mean I feel bad removing them and separating them as you know quarries do so much better in a school and I feel like I mean, I'm not sure if you can see these eggs. I took a whole bunch of eggs, but I'm not sure if you can see. Uh, there's egg, or well, there were eggs. I took them all off the guppy grass, but they keep, my quarries keep spawning. So ever since I put these quarries in here, it did something to my quarries as far as uh, trigger to spawn. And I did remove, I'm not sure if you could see. Yeah, I think there's one right there in the guppy grass, right uh, there somewhere. Anyways, they triggered mine to, to hump each other to death, man, and they're going to work. So, uh, you know, I, I, I want to sep- I want to do species only tanks right now, and that's what my goal is. As always, it's much appreciated for you guys stopping by. I understand how valuable time is, so you guys spending time out your day to come check out my channel is very, very greatly appreciated. And if you haven't checked out Rob93 Aquatics channel, go ahead and head over there, man, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. He's an awesome guy. Live streams are always fun. Go ahead and check him out. Without further ado, I appreciate you guys again for stopping by. I love y'all. This is Roberto with RLC Aquatics signing out. Peace.